<laughs> First, I would like to ask you for your permission to use this video for educational purpose on internet. Yes. Do I have your permission? Yes, you do. Excellent. Now, tell me about, uh, you and I, uh, we uh, had a surgery just about a month ago, is that correct? That's right. Um, how's your pain right now? My pain, I do not have pain. Okay. But I describe it as a burning sensation. Just where the surgery was, in the back? Just in the lower back. Now, what, what, why don't you tell me a little about your pain and symptoms before the surgery? Before surgery, the pain was so excruciating, I didn't, I didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. I, I tried to, and it was even an effort to get up to go to the restroom. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, I would walk to the kitchen table mm -hmm. to eat, have my meals. Mm -hmm. And by the time I, I couldn't even finish eating, I would have to go back and lay down because the pain was so bad. How long did you have that pain? That pain, um, I'd say about three months. Three months before you, we came. Yes, but for three months you told me you were actually you couldn't walk. Is that right? No, I did not walk. Okay, but you, obviously you had this pain not only three months. You had it for a long time, but it just really got really bad the yeah. three months before the surgery. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, now the surgery uh, was about a month ago, and I'm just going to swing here. First of all show you the uh, here is the incision of the surgery you see that uh, here we have uh, incisions going um, with minimal invasively and you see that the incisions are in different places and the reason for that is that here as you see you had a quite severe scoliosis we fixed some of the scoliosis but we decided to do a limited surgery you had a broken bone here you have a scoliosis here we decided to fix only three of the um, vertebrae or disc that causing most of your problem and uh, this surgery uh, according to our record took uh, only two hours and we lost the uh, 76 cc of blood which is about a little more than two ounce and this is the hardware that we put in during the surgery we uh, uh, correct the scoliosis only as much as your back would let us do that naturally and then we fix the rest and they put the four screws on each side, so total of eight screws and three spacers. You told me something about that, about your uh, height. Tell me about it, what you told me. <laughs> when I returned home from um, a physical therapy and to be at my home, my apartment, when I walked in the door, my housekeeper said, Oh, you grew at least three inches. <laughs> okay. And that's actually, I think, part of it is the spacer that uh, truly distract this uh, space and make you taller. Mm -hmm. But part of it as well, as well is that now you can go to your back to your natural position of the spine. Now, again, this is a big surgery. Uh, the, the scoliosis correction, three-level fusion could be easily a seven-hour surgery and with a liter or two blood loss. And in your age... Uh, I think you're 85 years old. I'm going to be 86. Okay, in your age group, that's a can be a risky procedure, but minimal invasive is still an option now. But I just want to be as well realistic. You cannot get this kind of surgery and go to be pain free right away after this big surgery. Why don't you tell me a little about your immediate post surgical and I'll ask your son as well jump in and tell us how is it right after the surgery, but more importantly, how long after the surgery did you start walking, whereas before the surgery you haven't been really walking for three months? Tell me about that. Well, the um, uh, I lost my train of thought. No, but you know, how long after the surgery did you walk? Uh, well, as far as the pain and discomfort after surgery, mm -hmm. uh, for about the next four days, mm -hmm. uh, she was. Uh, in quite a lot of pain and uh, uh, agitated, uh, very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, they did have her up with a walker uh, the day after surgery, mm -hmm. and they continued uh, walking her in the hall. Uh, she was in the hospital for three nights. Okay. Uh, she went into transitional care, and they immediately started uh, PT and uh, occupational therapy, mm -hmm. um, 
three times a day. Yeah, hmm. was, uh, three times a day, and they would uh, uh, alternate with sure. uh, different types of therapy. How long did it take for you to be comfortable? To be comfortable? Yes, how many days after? What do you think, how many takes to, um, so to be comfortable? Uh, it was about a week. A good one week. week. One week. And it was... Um, it was like a light switch went on and off. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, she went from being miserable and in pain to uh, yeah, no, no, no pain. Right. A giddy, a giddy schoolgirl with no pain. <laughs> Excellent. Now, the pain in the leg told me it's completely gone. Is that correct? I have no pain in the legs. No. And you have some uh, incisional pain, that burning sensation that you said where exactly where the surgery was, which is uh, actually uh, expected. And those pain usually get better. Now, overall, would you go through the surgery again after all the things that you have gone through? Yes, I would. Okay. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I would. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you for interviewing.